So for those people that don't currently own a Blackmagic design camera or are considering whether or not Blackmagic cameras are something for them, um, one of the great things now is that if you own one of these, which is an Apple iPhone, um, you can actually turn it into a Blackmagic camera through our new Blackmagic camera app. It's free to download and once you've downloaded it, the benefit that you'll see straight away is that the operating system that we're so familiar with within our pocket cinema camera range and our cinema camera range has now actually been transferred to, to an app. Now this app gives us the ability to do all the functions and features that are familiar within our cameras such as um, you have zebras in there, you've got focus peaking, um, you have the ability to record both in terms of a horizontal and a vertical setting with a 16 by 9 crop. Um, on the new iPhone 15, um, which has just been announced this week and is available, I believe, next week, um, there's a USB-C port that is on the bottom of the camera that allows you to actually record ProRes directly to that USB-C drive. Um, but I think that one of the most significant announcements with this application is not just the fact that you're getting a professional camera on your phone. What you're also getting is the link between this and DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so, so the benefit obviously with the iPhone is that you know, we're connected all the time and with a 3G, 4G or 5G connection, um, we want the ability to be able to take the video that we've shot on our Blackmagic camera app and take that directly into DaVinci Resolve. Now, clearly there are ways to do this already, but there's currently no way to do this seamlessly and to do this in an immediate fashion. So with the integration of cloud, um, Blackmagic cloud, we're able to share what I am shooting here directly with my editor in a different location. So I'm here in Amsterdam, I'm acquiring footage. What I can actually do is that once I've acquired that footage, I can select the clips that I've shot, I can click on the Blackmagic Cloud icon, and I can actually see here the project library that's been created for me. Now in this case, I've got a private storage folder, that once I actually select that, I can upload that file to that project. Now the immediacy of this is unreal because now my editor is seeing what I am shooting at this moment in time. And if I'm missing a shot, if I'm not getting the shot that they want, I have a live chat feature that enables my editor to actually communicate with me directly and immediately I will see this. What this does is this takes the iPhone and the integration of Blackmagic and the Blackmagic camera out to an entirely new level. So the cloud, um, the cloud relationship in the iPhone app is something that really has evolved from our relationships within broadcast initially. Um, what we're starting to see is that the modular approach, the small form factor approach, is, is becoming more and more of a necessity to those people that are out in the field. And the other part of it too is that it's not just DOPs and cinematographers, it's reporters or news gatherers or social media users and they want to be able to walk around a show like this and be able to deliver their content back and start editing on that as soon as possible. Well, the benefit of this app means that I can share my project with a person who is out there with Blackmagic Camera App and immediately acquire footage and share that back into the post-production environment. So if you're a vlogger, if you're a news reporter, if you're a news gatherer, or if you're somebody who is just sharing project footage with somebody in a different location, the whole Blackmagic Cloud workflow will enable you to do this seamlessly. So Blackmagic Cloud has had an, had an enormous um, evolution um, at IBC this year. Um, I think that uh, originally there was the use of obviously Dropbox files and there was the sharing of media through the collaborative process within DaVinci Resolve. But now Blackmagic has its own cloud servers. So this allows a user to be able to, first of all, apply for a Blackmagic Cloud account, and it's free to do so. So when you download the app and you log in and you create a Blackmagic Cloud you, uh, account, you will automatically get two gigabytes of storage free. Now, once you want to use more than that, um, there is the ability to increase the storage capacity that you own as a user. And once you own that, you can share, um, you can share multiple people with that storage. So as an example, the first stage beyond two gig um, is 500 gigs, and that runs at roughly around about $15 a month for 15 gig, for, sorry, for 500, um, for 500 gig. That 500 gig can be shared to 30 different people, 
It also includes a project library that you can use within DaVinci Resolve. And it also includes 20 presentations as well. Now, if you need more than one project library, so the initial project library is not enough, you just add an additional project library for $5 a project library. Now again, the benefit of this subscription model is that it doesn't subscribe you for an elongated period of time. So once you're actually finished using that storage or you finish using a project, you can close that down and you don't have to subscribe for a 12 month period or a six month period. So it really creates the flexibility for you. We tried to make this as easy as possible so that people who are working on the camera app don't necessarily have to apply for their own storage. Storage can be sh shared within multiple people. So anybody now can go in and sign up for a Blackmagic Cloud account, and that is available now to um, essentially purchase um, the storage capacity that you need. Um, again, you just go to Blackmagic Design and you go and register for a Blackmagic Cloud um, account, which is in the top corner, it's a cloud icon. Um, and then once you decide how much you need, you go through, you put your credit card details in, and that will continue to renew every month unless you cancel that. Um, for those people that are in Europe, it's, um, it's available in all of the EU countries as well as the UK. Um, we've recently just also included Turkey and South Africa into that process as well. So as we uh, continue to grow um, across the geographical area, we'll add more and more countries in beyond the European countries.